We have just reached the end of the 26th edition of the Tre Tori. The Tre Tori is one of the very few competitions which doesn't need any promoting, says Vladimir Parta from the Czech Republic and sports director for the International Judo Federation, speaking at the Tunis Grand Prix. This proves that the Tre Tori is sound, reaffirms Sheldon Franco Rooks, the voice of Judo TV, covering International Judo Federation tournaments such as the Grand Slam, the Grand Prix and the World Cup. The Tre Tori tournament, by its very character, has become well known and highly respected throughout the world. The prestige of this event has come from having to overcome many obstacles and the tournament is now part of the calendar for the most important countries traditionally in the world of judo. The Tre Tori organizing committee cannot but be grateful to the International Judo Federation president, Marius L. Visa, who officially recognized the importance of the competition and who has encouraged Corrado Crocieri in his valuable contribution to promoting and spreading judo and its educational values. Ezio Gamba, the Olympic champion in Moscow in 1980 and now current technical director for the Russian national squad, said, The Tre Tori is a tournament which, over the years, has matured and acquired an important history of its own and has earned an important place within the panorama of international judo. It's all about, however, finding a date which doesn't coincide with the Olympic qualifying process, thereby allowing us to take part, just like the last edition. The Tre Tori, in the last edition, as in previous ones, maintained its very high standards in style, quality, atmosphere and warmth. The welcome was, as always, incredible and the event had excellent organisation. Athletes, coaches, directors are always very happy to take part. 14 participating teams, 112 men and 45 women. The nation sending the most participants is Algeria with 18 athletes, 6 men and 12 women. It's our custom to mention a great medal winner from the international arena and in this last edition we chose the 2008 Beijing Olympic medalist Soraya Adad. This Algerian athlete no newcomer to the tournament, once again took the under 52 kilogram class over co-national Miriam Haula. Solara Adad was named best woman athlete at the Tre Tori for the third time. This time, the Belgian team, who are always present, and accompanied by Neil Adams, 8th Dan, world champion at Maastricht in 1981, six-time European champion, twice Olympic medalist in Moscow in 1980 and Los Angeles in 1984, wins the men's competition. Neil Adams returns to the Tre Tori after exactly 20 years. In 1990, at the eighth edition, he was invited as guest of honor and gave a fascinating demonstration. We thank Neil, who, on the evening of Saturday the 12th of June, gave us all another spectacular performance, showing once again his supreme class.
Algeria triumphs in the women's table, led by an extraordinarily well-loved person in her country, Salima Suakri, a real testament to judo in Algeria. Several times placed fifth at the Olympics since Barcelona, winner in Paris, continental champion, Salima today is star of the small screen, appearing in many chat shows and adverts where judo, in different ways, is being presented to the public at large in her own country. We have to mention too the contest by the German Niklas von Frieden in the under 66 kilogram class who distinguished himself by demonstrating his incredibly powerful Uchimata, which he unleashed on every competitor indiscriminately, taking victory in that class. What surprised and impressed us all was his record. Four matches, four Ippon in a total of 38 seconds. The shortest match lasted only eight seconds, whilst the longest, the final with our own Italian athlete Antonio Chianese, lasted a little longer, 12 seconds. The news from this edition has been the Fair Play Prize, awarded to the Japanese competitor Shotakei of the Kanto Gakuen University. The prize was given in recognition of the Japanese athlete's extremely technical judo, where the style of expression, the respect for the etiquette of behavior, the search for the one full point ipon, characterized his display. Closing here, We'd like to thank everyone for their invaluable contribution. We'll meet again at the 27th edition of this extraordinary event, a true enriching experience for international judo.